G'day guys, James here from Fishing Victoria. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about catching Brim and Metro Pinky Snapper in the Melbourne CBD. Now I catch them on both kayak and boat and I just love to use light gear with soft plastic. So I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the gear that I use. What I generally use on a kayak is just the Atomic Arrows Brim Surface. Now this rod is three to eight pounds with a 2500 reel, six pound braid and I like to run four to six pound fluorocarbon leader. Oh, that's a nice fish, that one. Nice fish. Now, another favorite combo I like to use is the Samurai Reaction two to four pound rod, and that's with a 2500 Luvius shallow spool, and that's running six pound braid, and I like to use six to eight pound fluorocarbon leader for that. I'll run a quick clip below, just keep watching to see this combo in action, just smashing some CBD pinkies off the little boat. Awesome fun, so check it out. Tumbles. Oh, they're good fish, Luke. Yep, fish on, good fish. So when it comes to soft plastics, I use anything from two inch up to four inch, particularly like curly tails the most, especially when I'm targeting both brim and pinkies. My favorite soft plastic to use straight in the Melbourne CBD has to be a two inch or two and a half inch grub soft plastic. That way I can catch both brim and pinky snapper. Oh yeah, it's a pinky. That's so cool to catch them. Um, that um, far up in the water column. <sighs> I literally just got here. This is my first cast. So there we go. Nice little fish. Just on that two inch grub. If I'm just targeting pinkies, I'd use a three inch to four inch soft plastic. Now when it comes to jig heads, I like to use anything from a one sixteenth of an ounce down to a one eighth of an ounce size one or size two hook, depending on what soft plastic I'm using. Now, when it comes to finding the fish, I particularly like structure. So I look for pylons, rocks, and a bit of reef. And what I like to do is just run the sounder. Split with the side scan on, see all those pylons. So it's marking it pretty good. And work those edges with the side scans. And hopefully I can mark a few fish and then obviously I'll chuck my soft plastic down there. And if there's any interested, they'll absolutely smash it. If I'm on a kayak, I'm particularly used to the area in Docklands and in the Yarra River. So I know the rough depths and areas where the fish like to hang around. But same thing goes with the structure. They particularly like it because a lot of bait fish hang around against it and the brim are not too far away from them. All right, guys, there's all bait fish jumping out right here. Already got a fish, guys. Oh, it's a big brim. Fish on. Yes, beautiful. You get a lot of fishing in the Melbourne CBD. You never know what you're gonna get. Brim and pinkies are the main target species I catch, but you do get other species such as Australian salmon, Taylor, the odd mulloway, and all sorts of other species too. Beautiful scenery, fishing in the Melbourne CBD, the buildings in the background while catching quality fish. Now just a quick fact, majority of the time, the first two meters of the water column in the Yarra River is fresh water, underneath that is salt water, depending on the rainfall of course. So if you're chasing those pinkies since they like the more salt water, let that soft plastic sink down and um, you'll definitely find them down there. So generally it's around 12 meters of water in Docklands. So I recommend using anything from a 1 12th to a 1 8th of a jig head and that will definitely get you down there. Where's the plastic going? Right down there. That is another beautiful black broom. Look at that. What an awesome fish. You just engulf that plastic. Stoke with that. So that's about, I've got about three or four fish now, and that's the second solid brim. So when it comes to fishing the Melbourne CBD just in general, particularly when you're chasing pinkies, they do move around a lot. So they school up and it's very important to cover a lot of ground and structure where these fish can hang around. Oh yeah, that's a better fish. That's what we want. But when it comes to the brim, 
all they like is just structure. So the pylons and a lot of mussels like to grow along these pylons and these fish love eating them too. So if you can find those pylons with mussels on them, and if particularly on a clear day, just get your polarized sunnies and you can see those fish, chuck your soft plastic in it or your little lure and have a good crack at them because um, it's awesome fun guys just sight casting and sight spotting these fish. However, these brim are very fussy most of the time, so it's always good to downgrade your leader down to four pound. Fluorocarbon leader is very good because it's just about invisible in the water for these fish. And if you can get that jig head to be as light as possible with hiding the hook as much as you can, then that's another bonus. And it's all got to do with how you work your soft plastic too. Just hit the bottom now. Use small twitches with a slow retrieve. Let it sink down. Twitching it up again. Let it sink down. Yep, fish on. Got him on. So, when it comes to soft plastics, I like using natural colours such as the Tommy 2 inch grub in the avocado colour because it's a nice natural colour in the water and it's like a shrimp or a little crab along the pylon. So if you can work those little grubs along those pylons, it pretty much imitates a shrimp getting away from the pylons and obviously getting away from those fish. And when you do trip those brim and you get that hook up, it is awesome fun on the light here. Oh, he's going to go in the pylon. Don't go there, mate. Oh, yes. It's a good fish. Oh, look at that. Beautiful fish. Yes, I got him. Another quick one. You also catch some estuary perch as black catch too. It is awesome fun on the light here too, and they absolutely love to smash some lures. Yep, just got a fish on now. Don't know what it is just yet. Oh, it's a nice EP actually. So there we go, guys. That is a beautiful estuary perch right there. Awesome EP. Especially when you're fishing in the structure and one to three metres of water in particular. So most of my fishing down in the Melbourne CBD is all catch and release, so it's very sustainable and it's always good to watch those fish swim away and catch them another day when they're a bit bigger. Already ready to go, can tell already. Yep. And off she goes. So both kayak and on the boat, it is awesome fun using soft plastics and ultralight spin gear. Hope you guys got something out of this video and enjoyed it. And um, stay updated for more videos coming.